I'll set explosives on the mountain to the north, seal off the other passes, and force the Russians to march through the northern pass. These miners have volunteered to help us. We can collapse the rock bridges and seal these passes off. If you can keep the Russians from killing us, of course. Going now. Forky men. Command What is your command? I'm ready. What is your command? Yes, Forster. Richt. Forster. Yes, I mean so. Yes, ready. Und Richt. Richt. Forster. More miners are ready to join the fight. Consider it done. What is your command? I'm ready. Russian platoon approaching. What is your command? I'm ready. What is your command? I'm ready. More miners are ready to join the fight. What I'll do it. I'm ready. What is your command? I'm ready. A Russian platoon approaching.
We've done it! I don't know exactly what happened on the mountain that day, but my grandfather wasn't the type to go down without a fight. Warwick. You're delaying the inevitable. The new world belongs to the circle of Ossus now, Black. You shouldn't have taken Stuart. You're right. It seems you're the keeper of the family's secret. There is no secret. Perhaps. Are you made of sterner stuff than your uncle? I so love a challenge. Fools! The powder! <laughs> John Black may have made a lot of enemies in his life, but he died a hero. He knocked the circle back on their heels so hard, it would take them decades to recover. By spring, Kenyon K had returned to his village. Life went on for the Iroquois, just as it had for years. Except that his sister had given birth to John's son. And though the Russians were gone, Kenyon K knew other white men would follow spreading like wildfire until they covered the land. But until then, he would live, work, and help raise his sister's son, my father, Nathaniel Black. <laughs>